Analysts had to join us from Yobe State. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Now, away from Yobe State, the federal government has approved a 50% increase in the feeding allowance of inmates in custodial centers across the country with effects from last month. Public relations officer of the Nigerian Correctional Service, Abubu Kalmar, disclosed this at a news conference in Abuja. Issues surrounding the suspects recently declared wanted by the police and the welfare of inmates in custodial centers across the country also took center stage. So we want to do uh, all of us working for one national goal, and that is enhancing our national security. Whether we work at the borders, whether we work to ensure that uh, illegal migrants do not come in, or we are those, the custodians of safeguarding national and territorial integrity, the objective is the same, national security. And I have contacted him here again. They are going to inform the general public about the status, whether it's an illegal immigrant or not. But whatever the situation is, we still want to reiterate that Mr. Andrew Wine and Loki Obia are still wanted on our list. The government has actually reviewed the feeding allowance of inmates in our custody with 50%. And this is just the first phase of the review. The government is also looking at uh, the next phase where they will actually uh, improve the allowance of inmates. Elsewhere, the Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tsunjujo, has announced Nigeria's enrollment in the International Civil Aviation Organization's public key infrastructure. According to the minister, the move is aimed at enhancing the global ranking of the country's passport, ease of passage, as well as beefing up internal security. The minister in Montreal, Canada, alongside the Comptroller General of the Nigeria Immigration Service, Kemin Andab, participated in the import ceremony of the country signing certificate authority led by ICAO officials. The minister, speaking shortly after the event, explained that the development was informed by the government's effort to modernize border control systems, which is expected to reduce the waiting time at airports and other points of entry within and outside the country. Let's turn attention to River State, where the Nigeria Customs Service has declared a state of emergency in the on airport in River State due to repeated cases of smuggling. Comptroller General Bashir Adeni announced the measures while parading 12 containers of illicit goods. Correspondent Uchi Okoro reports. Arriving at the forward operating base for Mosul, Representatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission are led to inspect the seized vessel MV Bravo Alero, detained at a Nigerian Navy base for the past three months. It was arrested along Nimbe Creek with three crew members and an estimated 2,000 liters of suspected illegally refined automated gas oil in June. The Navy... We apologize for the mix-up in that video. We'll bring you that report later. In the meantime, in Bayasa State, a seized merchant vessel has been handed over to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission by the Nigerian Navy Forward Operating Base, uh, Formoso, for prosecution. About 2,000 liters of suspected illegally refined automated gas oil was discovered within the vessel in the Nambi Creek. Joseph Kunde has details. Arriving at the forward operating base for Mosul, representatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission are led to inspect the seized vessel MV Bravo Alero, detained at a Nigerian Navy base for the past three months. It was arrested along Nimbe Creek with three crew members and an estimated 2,000 liters of suspected illegally refined automated gas oil in June. The Navy expects a detailed investigation of the matter as the vessel is handed over to the EFCC. It could be recalled that MV Bravo Alero was arrested on the 8th of June 2024 by Operation Quick Response Force of Headquarters Operation Delta Save with reinforcement support from FOB Formoso 
At the time of this arrest, the vessel was arrested for conveying an illegal refined AGO and operating without appropriate authority. The vessel MV Bravo Aleru was arrested with two, 200,000 liters of suspected illegal refined AGO along Nembe Creek in Bayesa State. In line with the provision of the standard, harmonized standard operating procedure on arrest, detention, and prosecution of vessels and persons 2016, I hereby hand over MV Bravo Alero and three members to the EFCC for further investigation and possible prosecution. Samples of the products are taken by the EFCC as they are short for the investigation and prosecution of those behind the transportation of the suspected illegal refined AGO. From EFCC Port Harcourt Directorate, we are taking over the vessel for further investigation and possible prosecution of the corpus. The Navy also wants other intending criminals to desist as it will not rest in its efforts to end oil theft in the Niger Delta. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Braz. When TVC News at 10 returns,